Hi, I'm Marty from Marty Films, and this video was made in collaboration with Iron Glass. Don't buy an anamorphic lens. Well, at least watch this video before you do so, because it might change your mind about it. Now, I get it. The anamorphic look is dope. Nice streak lens flares, oval bokeh, nice sharpness fall off towards the edges. But what if I told you that none of the footage you just saw was actually shot on an anamorphic lens, but instead on a cheap old vintage lens that you can get for under 300 bucks. You might have already heard about anamorph fake lenses and I've also talked about the Helios 442 on this channel multiple times before. But does it really hold up to the real deal? And in 2024, now that we have so many great cheap ways into real anamorphics, is it still a valid option? To answer these questions, I have partnered up with none other than Iron Glass, who are best known for taking old vintage lenses like the Helios 442 and rehousing them, turning them into proper high-end cinema lenses. But today we're talking about the modded lenses that aren't rehoused, but still made much more usable for proper day on set at a much lower price point. I've got three modded Helioses here, one without any inserts, one with an oval insert and blue flares, and one with an oval insert and amber flares. The oval insert elevates that already swirly bokeh of the Helios towards a beautiful waterfall bokeh that mimics that two times anamorphic squeeze look. And the flares are achieved through this colored string in the center of the lens. It's pretty simple, but it looks surprisingly good. The fact that these lenses mimic this look so well is fantastic, because even today, it still is by far the cheapest option to get that characteristic look. Even if you were to pay a few hundred bucks more for an actual anamorphic lens, it likely won't be a two times squeeze. And it also might lack that vintage character that an old lens like this already brings by nature. These lenses are especially great if you want to put them on a smaller camera because they themselves are pretty small and lightweight. And as an added bonus, you don't even need to de-squeeze the image to get your desired look. The downside using these lenses is that once you stop them down, you start to lose that oval bokeh because the actual aperture covers that oval cutout. Also, in some cases, you do see the string in the bokeh. But all in all, I do think this still is a valid option if you always wanted to get that Hollywood look without breaking the bank. I was honestly super surprised how well these work and the Iron Glass mod is especially great because they are by far the smoothest Helioses that I've ever handled and I've handled a few. I can only recommend giving this a try or at least considering it if you're planning to dive into anamorphics. If you're wondering why these lenses are purple and red from the inside, you're in luck because that's what I'm covering next. So subscribe and watch this video in the meantime.